First, you'd be surprised there's no universally agreed upon legal definition of who a migrant is. So if you take the most basic definition used by the United Nations, it is whomever changes his or her country of residence. So in that case, anyone who moves uh, across a border of a national country becomes a migrant. And so every refugee is a migrant initially. Being a migrant is not a bad thing and we should not be demonizing who the migrant is. Refugees become refugees and this is a legal status that's given to them uh, through a very complicated process of seeking asylum. So refugees have to first claim asylum. So asylum seekers uh, arrive in countries and, and request to claim asylum. So either it's in countries in the south where UNHCR does the refugee status determination or it's in countries in Europe where governments do that job. So asylum claims are put to governments, are put to UNHCR, and it's a very lengthy process during which uh, they're not allowed to work. There are people who don't necessarily want to come all the way to Europe but don't have a choice. So if you take well, first of all, a lot of the migrants who you'll see arriving all the way to Europe, be it um, Eritreans, Afghans or Syrians, will have maybe first been a refugee in another country. Uh, so in the case of Afghans, they've been refugees in Iran or Pakistan. Some of them come from Iran to come to Europe. Um, they leave their refugee status in Iran to become an irregular migrant in Europe. Why? Uh, because in Iran, although they may have limited access to education and healthcare, they have no right to work. Uh, so that means that their whole future is compromised as they will never see a possible opportunity to integrate locally. And if they don't want to return, if they can't return because of conflict, then their only choice is to leave. Uh, so again, this is where you see that you don't belong just to one category. Afghans, Syrians, Eritreans were refugees in a first country of asylum and have left it because that country didn't offer them the right that they're uh, entitled to. And again, it's important to remind that the right to work, the right to uh, gain um, access, gainful employment, is a right that is supposed to be refugees' rights in their country of asylum. And oftentimes that right is not given. There are laws and conventions that frame all these discussions. So there's a 1951 UN convention uh, that clearly labels who a refugee is. But now where it gets difficult is, in practice, nothing is that clear cut and people don't neatly fit into boxes. So refugee is a legal definition. Uh, an economic migrant is also a legal definition. But in between those, between the refugees and economic migrants, you have a whole lot of people which are the majority of the people that we see. Uh, so that's where we struggle with understanding who is deserving and who is not. And poverty is not just economic either. And this is what the work of Amartya Sen reminds us of, and this is what is clear when you go into countries of origin. Poverty has to do with fulfilling someone's uh, potential in life, the capability to fulfill your own human rights. And it often comes back to this question of human rights. It is a human right to move. It is a human right to leave your own country. It's enshrined in the a declaration for human rights and yet you don't have the accompanying right uh, to enter another country. <music>